you know, we put a lot of thought in bringing our plants indoors for the winter, but how much thought do we put into the containers that we bring indoors or leave outside? There's some really great information you need to know about your, your outdoor and indoor containers. And the Crackpot Gardener, Cindy Chaplin, has got those tips for us today. So I never put a lot of thought into which of the, the pots that I leave outdoors, but you say it can make a difference. Yes, and I know it doesn't feel like it right now because we're still in like August weather in November. Yes. <laughs> but really, this is time to be thinking about what we're gonna do with our pots. There's certain pots that you could just leave out all winter long and not worry about it. But here in Tennessee, we have a lot of thawing and freezing and thawing and freezing. And so every time that happens, it expands the soil inside, especially if there's plants, will yeah. expand and it can cause cracking. So, but here's one, polyurethane. Yeah. I mean, inexpensive. Yeah. You can get them to look all different colors, and um, but this probably is the safest one to leave outside. Okay. One of the safer ones. Plastic feels plastic. Plastic, <laughs> you do, right? Yes. And then you have wood. Now wood, this would be perfect. Oh. You can leave this outside all winter. You wouldn't have to worry about it at and all. And it may get even a little bit more distressed and, and look even yes, better. Yes, it's going to look nothing but better. Galvanized. Look uh -huh. at these beautiful oh, galvanized yeah. containers. These are awesome. They are. That's great. And drill some holes in that and leave them out all winter long. Okay. And then in the front here, look. Well, oh, this is cool. a, yeah, it's it's concrete, and concrete you can leave outside, and it's really so heavy that you normally leave it outside because you can't do anything with it. Exactly. Now, if you're worried about it cracking, you can always take the soil out, turn the pot, pretend this is a pot, uh -huh. turn it upside down uh -huh. with a board or some bricks underneath it, and leave it for the winter. Okay. Because that will help protect it. Okay. What about this? This it is looks, a tufa. It's and not it's a, heavy. It's not a heavy, and it, and it really can take the winter. So a lot of times, if you have a tufa pot, you can leave it outside okay. as well. Now these are the ones that I would be most concerned about leaving outside because first of all you pay more money for these it's a bigger investment which is great and you might really love them and want to keep them longer. Okay. And so this ceramic unfortunately this is one that I would take the plant out empty the soil out clean it with a little Clorox solution uh -huh. and then turn it upside down or bring it in, you know, like under right, my deck, right, right. or bring it into my garage, somewhere where it stays dry all winter, and then just bring it back out in the spring and replant it. Terracotta, we all love terracotta. I love terracotta. But it's just not, it's not durable. Right. It gets water and it cracks and you'll be so sad. So bring this one inside. I've had plenty of those broken. Yes, <laughs> and this is just a great terracotta. Same yeah. thing, bring yeah. it indoors. Yeah. High fire glaze, what an investment. I what know. a beautiful. Beautiful. I mean, and, I mean, how beautiful. And Very the colors beautiful. you can get. So. This is really something that are my favorites in my garden. And so these I do not leave outside, even though the more high fired they are, the more chances they'll survive the winter, but I'm not gonna take, You're a, not chance. Gonna take a chance. On this. So I'm gonna turn them yeah. over, put them on my porch, mm -hmm. put them in my garage. Okay. I'm gonna do something with them. This is a mix, it has a little, actually some little stone in it, mm -hmm. and a, um, with maybe fiberglass in there oh, as yeah. well. So it's a mix, much lighter, looks like concrete, but, and it might make it through the winter, so you could try it, but normally I bring these in as well. Okay. Fiberglass, look how beautiful this, this is. This is gorgeous. You get them, they're, yeah. even, they're so realistic looking, and they're so pretty, and they're lightweight, so they're not so heavy. And these you could leave outside if you don't care, or if you're not worried about them. I mean, a lot of people do, yeah. and sometimes they make it just fine. And once in a while, you'll get a small crack in them, which might just add more character. Exactly, but I think you, that would. But if you care about it, you know, tip it upside down or bring it inside. Very good information, Cindy. I never really put that much thought in my containers. So this yeah. is fantastic. If you'd like to find out more, folks can always go to your website. Yes, um, cindyshapton.com or look me up on Facebook, The Cracked Pot Gardener. And also, if you're in the market for pots, more and more, um, Garden Center here has tons of pots of every description, so if you need some, come on by. Yeah, thank them so much for allowing us to be here today. Yes. And thank you, Cindy. You're welcome. Thanks, Tawanda.